Well, hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be talking all about how to get rid of hyperpigmentation between the inner thighs. I get a ton of requests to do this video. Probably the most frequent cause of hyperpigmentation between the inner thighs is just irritation. And irritation very commonly is due to chafing. Basically, skin on skin contact, the inner thighs rubbing together, or really tight fitting clothing, jeans, rough fabrics, that rub on the skin or simply having dry skin can cause a lot of irritation. And when you remove the hair in the area, it's very easy to get irritated from that no matter how you are removing the hair. Also, you can have ingrown hairs and all that can lead to hyperpigmentation. Another major contributing factor to discoloration between the inner thighs is going to be a medical cause, namely polycystic ovary syndrome or insulin resistance related to type two diabetes. Specifically, both of these conditions can have a skin manifestation called acanthosis nigricans, which can happen between the inner thighs, also on the back of the neck very commonly, and under the armpits. And this condition is related to insulin resistance that can be seen in both polycystic ovary syndrome as well as in prediabetes and existing type 2 diabetes. So it's very important that you see your healthcare provider to rule out these underlying medical etiologies of hyperpigmentation between the inner thighs or discoloration between the inner thighs, specifically acanthosis, nigricans, that needs to be addressed medically. Products I'm gonna be mentioning in today's video, they're not, they're not really gonna to correct the issue at all. But those medical conditions aside, what can, what can you do about the discoloration? Number one, I would suggest stop hair removal for a period of time. Shaving, plucking, waxing, tweezing, feathering, if that's even a thing. All of these can obviously set you up for a lot of irritation. So just give yourself a break. I know we're heading into summer and the idea of doing that is like, kind of appalling because maybe you want to be wearing bathing suits and whatnot, um, but give it, a, give it a go. Alternatively, laser hair removal is a good idea. It will reduce the need to remove the hair there and doesn't result in ingrown hairs or irritation long-term and actually might be a good option. Or maybe you wanna pursue one of the at-home hair removal devices at this time. I recently reviewed the Kenzie device for you guys in a non-sponsored video, so check that out, but that certainly is an option. And you have to change up your wardrobe. Loose-fitting clothing is the best. No more tight jeans, no more tight pants. The reason, obviously, the friction, the rough fabric, especially jeans, they're really irritating. So take a break from those. I mean, you wanna wear like loose, loosey-goosey fabrics. However, if your skin rubs together because of the shape of your legs, um, that bare skin-on-skin -skin rubbing together can be avoided actually by wearing kind of maybe some shapewear or I wear bike shorts. That's an option, or if you're wearing a skirt, pantyhose. Do people even wear pantyhose anymore? I think a lot of people actually do. Undergarments like this or shapewear can certainly help, especially if you're gonna be wearing a skirt because they basically will pull the skin from each leg away from one another. And of course, if the skin down there is seeing sun, make sure that you're wearing a broad spectrum SPF 30 or higher sunscreen and you reapply it pretty frequently because the friction between your inner thighs is gonna rub off the sunscreen much more quickly than like the sunscreen on your face. A product that I recommend to you guys that will address both the dry skin as well as the irritation is a barrier cream, specifically a diaper cream. Think of the rubbing between your inner thighs. A lot of what's going on there and the problems and the issues that your skin is having in these areas is kind of similar to what's going on when a baby has diaper dermatitis or diaper rash. And a diaper cream that I recommend for people who cope with inner thigh chafing and a lot of hyperpigmentation there is by Aquaphor. It's their three-in-one zinc oxide-based diaper cream. The zinc oxide is anti-inflammatory, so it can calm down some of that inflammation, and it provides a physical barrier for the skin that will reduce irritation and dryness and whatnot. So I'll link that down below. The second product that I would recommend that you guys consider is a moisturizer with alpha hydroxy acid. This will help with ingrown hairs, it will help with dry skin, it will help calm down irritation, it will also help remove some of the skin cells from the top layer of the skin that are discolored and help with just gentle exfoliation. 
And specifically, I recommend a body lotion called Amlactin. This is very inexpensive. I will list it down below. But what I love about this product is that it has, of course, the alpha hydroxy acids that are gonna soften the skin and help remove some of these discolored skin cells. But the product also has ceramides, which helps support the skin barrier. I would recommend you guys consider, if you can get your hands on it, an over-the-counter hydroquinone cream. Hydroquinone is probably one of the most evidence-based ingredients for treating hyperpigmentation. I will list Ambifade cream down below. It's a hydroquinone cream that you can buy over the counter and give a whirl. If you're going to try hydroquinone, I would suggest applying it just once a day. And a good time to apply it is at nighttime, right before you go to bed. Topical vitamin A can inhibit the activity of the enzyme that drives hyperpigmentation and it also can help exfoliate some of those discolored skin cells. So obviously there's prescription tretinoin or retinoic acid, there's prescription tazeratine, and there's a prescription adapalene as well. Those are all some of the most active forms of vitamin A, but you also can get adapalene here in the States at a lower percentage strength than what is available by prescription. You can get it over the counter and the lower percentage strength is effective, you guys. Don't, don't don't get hung up on the fact that, well, higher must be better. That's not always the case. Lower definitely can be just as effective. And there are a variety now of products on the market that are adapting that you can buy. Um, different, I've obviously talked about in many videos. So there's different, for example. And then La Roche-Posay has Adapalene as well. You guys, these are identical. But like the hydroquinone, I recommend using this at nighttime before you go to bed. When you apply this, you really only need, honestly, about, you only need about that much to, to cover the inner thigh. Obviously, it's going to depend on the size of your, your inner thigh. If you are a tall person with long legs, you're gonna have more surface area to apply. But when it comes to applying, when it comes to applying uh, Adapalene or Differin or really any product, you don't need a thick film. The thickness gets you nowhere. You really only need a thin film, like that you, to the point that you just feel, you just feel it going on the skin but you don't see it or anything, it dries very quickly. Um, so you don't, you don't get anywhere by using a ton, you just waste the product. So I recommend putting this on at nighttime before you go to bed, and if you wanna use it alongside hydroquinone, you can just layer the two one after the other. The order does not matter uh, to each inner thigh. So I would suggest putting these on right before you go to bed because when you're in bed, lying in bed, you're not, rubbing your legs back and forth walking so put it on like right before you get in the bed and then let it sit on the skin overnight the following morning you don't need to wash it off just leave it on there um and then i mean if you take a shower the following morning it's fine don't worry about it it's okay to wash it off it's just not necessary so i would suggest doing that and to start if you want to use both ingredients i say try doing one ingredient first and see how you do with it. Try incorporating one ingredient by doing it every other night for the first week, two weeks, see how you tolerate it. And if things are going well, then try using that one ingredient every night, see how you do. And if you tolerate using that one ingredient every night just fine, then try bringing in the second ingredient. Now the adapalene can be continued as long as you want. Uh, if you see results and you're happy and you wanna stop, Fine. In terms of hydroquinone though, I suggest that you not use it indefinitely. Uh, the reason for this is that the neighboring skin cells can start to become affected by the hydroquinone and, and cause actually more hyperpigmentation. So it's advised that you not use hydroquinone indefinitely. And using it, just as I said, a thin film to the affected area, using it nightly or every other night, whatever you work out for yourself, if you don't see any results after that period of time, then like it's not worth buying more Ambifade cream. Um, and beyond that, you're not gonna see better results. You're, you're getting into a window where you might actually be putting yourself at risk. But the barrier cream and the alpha hydroxy acid, those things are gonna help keep your skin hydrated and healthy and help reduce the irritation, help soften uh, rough patches. So those are things that, like Adapalene, can be used indefinitely. 
And the barrier cream is something that is gonna be preventative moving forward as well, because it's gonna help anytime you're in a situation where you have friction between the legs, it's gonna help reduce that friction just by providing a barrier. Those are my tips for hyperpigmentation in the inner thighs. I hope this video was helpful to you guys. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.